Hey Leo, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. Thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I do appreciate you. All right, this is your monthly reading for the month of October 2021. Keep an eye out because the love readings will be coming out soon after these within the next week, okay? Um, and sometimes, you know, YouTube doesn't notify. So make sure you check back here. Set a... Um, set some kind of reminder to peek in anyway let's get into it spirit and angels anyone for the high good. what do we need to know about this leo reading for anyone with leo placements what's the um what do we need to know about this reading for october 2021 or whenever anyone is guided to see it it's for anyone with any leo placements what do we need to know okay wow okay so you got time for a nap soulmate and fork in the road okay so uh needing to take a break from your soulmate let me get uh, i want to get one on time for a nap time for a nap what do we need to know about it for leo anyone with leo placements okay unfinished symphony all right yeah the thing that keeps happening over and over and over again with your soulmate that's what you need a break from it's not saying you need to get away from your soulmate it's saying take a nap from the unfinished symphony whatever it is that keeps happening over and over and over again with your soulmate we need to stop doing it and they're saying fork in the road all right time to change direction see how the fork in the road has the directional on it and they're saying look there's either one of two things happening here you're gonna hit a fork in the road and you're gonna have to change directions or you can change directions on your own to stop whatever this is you know is it that you guys always argue about money is it that you guys always argue about i don't know um spoiling the kids is it you know whatever i don't know what it would be but you know what i mean it could be anything is you know do one of you um do you guys argue about your sex life i don't know what do people argue about i don't even know anyway but you know what i mean whatever it is um so i'm going to use oh i'm so sorry whoops i dropped a crystal this is the wisdom of the oracle okay there it is hold on hold on i'm picking up my crystal um so that's what i used first we're going to use modern spell casters and then we're going to use everyday witch next okay to clarify all right um spirit and angels anyone for the highest good what do we need to know for this leo reading for anyone with leo placements what are the most important messages we have for the people who need them the most what's important here Please allow me to connect with as many people as possible and to deliver the messages um, as accurately as possible to the people who need them the most. Time for a nap, unfinished symphony, soulmates, fork in the road. What do we need to know? Leo. Anyone with Leo placements? October 2021 or whenever they're guided to see this reading. Time for a nap, unfinished symphony, soulmates, and fork in the road. What's important here? Yeah, I feel like this soulmate relationship needs a change from whatever keeps happening. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. Okay, well, we're, we're going to talk about that in a second. Um, okay, you got the Seven of Swords reversed and you got the Ten of Pentacles. So somebody could be doing some sneaky, shady stuff. Oh, my gosh. Wow. This is really, really good energy. So you've got the star and the ten of pentacles, but it's after something comes out about someone doing something sneaky and shady. All right. What's that? Okay. The hanged person, the hanged man in reverse. All right. Great. All right. What else? Oh, two of pentacles. Someone who's ha been having a hard time making a decision. All right. What else do we need to know about? Uh, the high pre oh whoa there's something else behind it what is it the um, lovers reversed the high priestess reversed the five of wands reversed oh mama okay what else Leo reading all right what else there's two ten of swords and the knight of wands reversed lot happening here Leo wow all right so this is um 
all coming on the tails of something that happened. There's information that's going to come out, High Priestess Reverse, about Five of Wands, Ten of Swords. People who are filled with drama, troublemakers, people that like to fight and cause drama and betray, they betrayed someone, okay? Also, Sneaky Shady. Do, lying, sneaking, cheating, stealing. Someone is seeing it. The um, hi, hanged man in reverse. I keep wanting to say high priestess, which is right here. Um, so I do feel like someone is, uh, someone knows about this or there's information that's coming out about this. Um, the information till now could have been blocked with the eight of wands reversed, but with the Nine of Wands reverse, if you look at this Nine of Wands in the upright, this person feels like they're under attack. They're like a caged animal. In the reverse, I feel like this person no longer has to defend themselves. And look at why. Wish fulfillment comes in for them. Something about this information that's been blocked, I feel, is no longer going to be blocked. I do feel something's getting exposed. Whatever they were doing that was sneaky and shady is coming out. There could be something about money with the Ten of Pentacles and wish fulfillment. There could be an uh, Aquarius involved. There could be Pisces involved. There could be... Um, Sagittarius is here as well. Um, Gemini is here as well. But whatever this is, I feel like someone smack dab middle in the middle of the reading is the two of pentacles. It is reversed. I feel like somebody has been just um, contemplating this, trying to look at it from another perspective as the hangman. And they have now have been enlightened and they're trying to make a decision now. It does have something to do with... Um, I feel some kind of love situation or partnership in some way. But there has been drama and there has been toxicity involved in here with somebody doing something shady. And with the Knight of Wands reversed, this could be something that... Um, hasn't been able to progress or move forward let's find out okay again yeah with the nine the same energy as the eight of wands is the same energy we end up at the end here with with the um knight of wands reversed something that's stuck and that could be the fork in the road that gets hit like you hit this fork in a road and it's like we can't keep doing this something's got to get done we can't just keep getting stuck because of all the fighting the bickering the toxicity someone you know screwing the other one over whatever it is i mean this could be a soulmate relationship where you guys are constantly doing things to screw each other over i gotta say that it's possible but it could be one person doing it to the other it could be something totally different right but let's get into it we're going to get more information out of this spirit and angels anyone for the highest good what do we need to know about this something that keeps happening in your soulmate relationship over and over again that it's time for a nap time to stop um, it's time to fork in the road, change directions. All right. And somebody is going to have to make a decision here because the center of the reading with that two of pentacles reversed tells me someone is going to need to make that decision to fork in the road. Uh, time for a nap. Take a break from whatever this is that keeps happening over and over again. What do we need to know for this Leo reading? What's important? All right, let's do it. Seven of Swords Reverse. What's important here? Leo reading. What's important? Seven of Swords Reverse. This is something coming out. King of Swords Reverse. Somebody who lied. Um, somebody. What? T give me more on the King of Swords Reversed. This is an Aquarius energy. Tell me more about the seven. Or this could be somebody doing something toxic to an Aquarius. Tell me about the King of Swords Reversed with the Seven of Swords Reversed. Yep, we got a challenge. Uh, the Page of Pentacles. All right. Why is the Page of Pentacles a challenge here for the King of Swords reversed? Oh, the full reverse. An inability to look. And look at the Page of Pentacles. It has the directions, the directionals like the fork in the road. Somebody needs to change directions. That's why the full's in reverse too. So whatever this is, we can't continue to do it. It can't be done the same way. We've got to change what we're doing, especially if it's something that's unethical. I have to say that for whoever this is for, whether this is you, Leo, doing something unethical or someone else, something's got to change. Um, let's look at the, I want to look at the star card. Tell me about the star card over here. What's that? What do we need to know? Okay. 
Yeah, wish fulfillment in reverse, the Nine of Cups reverse, but the star card's in the upright, and that supersedes the Nine of Cups, no matter whether it's in the upright or not. Um, it's just, uh, it's a major arcana. So whatever wasn't being fulfilled, wishes, you know, hopes, dreams, whatever this was that was disappointing, it will be fulfilled. Um, star will end up in the upright. There's going to be some kind of wish fulfillment here. It's just that something's got to change. It can't go on the way it is. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. What about the Ten of Pentacles? What do we need to know? Leo reading. Okay, yeah. And it has to do with the partnership. It has to do with the family. Or it has to do with whatever you partners share together. Tell me about the um, Hanged Man. Hanged Man Reverse. What about the Hanged Man in the Reverse? What's important here? Nope, I don't even like the way it came out. We're not going to look at them. Tell me about the hangman in the reverse. What do we need to know? Just one or two. That's way too many. Okay, it's only three. We'll take it. It's the star reversed again. Oh, it ends up in the upright though. Okay, so star reversed, two of pentacles again. So you have star again and two of pentacles again and ace of cups. That's excellent. So this is really about seeing things differently and getting out of a funk and letting yourself heal and deciding to do something different, go for something new. And that's exactly what we asked about in the beginning. Uh, deciding to do things differently and go for something new. Your new beginning really depends on what you do. Tell me about what we're going to do here with the Two of Pentacles in the reverse. What about the Two of Pentacles reverse? Center of the reading for Leo. What's important here? This is really about someone needing to make a different decision. Yeah, Nine of Swords. You can stay in the stress or you can decide to do it differently, like I said. Um, this is really important that someone change their stress level and do something differently. Tell me more about um, the Two of Pentacles. I want one more. It's in reverse. What else do we need to know about it? Two of Pentacles. Okay, yeah, we've got the Hierophant reversed. That is about that, um, a contract. Now, this could be um, a spiritual contract or a physical contract. Somebody's very stressed out about a broken contract, and they're trying to figure out what to do. And Spirit says, look, heal and move forward. Heal and do something new or do something differently about it. Um, tell me about, yeah, look, other options. I can't make that up. That is choosing differently. Choosing options, right? Choices. Make different choices. Tell me about the lovers reversed. What do we need to know? Lovers reversed. Leo reading. The tower and the king of cups, who could also be a queen. All right, so we got something going on here with, this is Scorpio energy, King of Cups and Tower. So with Gemini energy with the Lovers Reverse, all right? So this is doing something that is shocking in a relationship with a Scorpio or a Gemini or whoever. Also here at the bottom, we have the Seven of Swords and the Six of Cups. This, this is someone, the Six of Cups is reversed. Someone who's not happy about something sneaky and shady that someone did in their partnership. And didn't we start out with seven of swords right there, right? But it's being exposed. It's in the reverse. All right. So this is the tower. Somebody's getting the tower in their partnership. They're getting some kind of tower because something gets exposed here. But they were doing sneaky and shady stuff. So tell me more about the high priestess here in reverse because that's the information coming up. What is that uh, high priestess reversed? Leo reading. Okay, Queen of Swords reversed. There's something going on here. Queen of Swords reversed. This is lack of clarity when it's reversed. And um, there could have been someone who lied. There could have been some lack of clarity. And the High Priestess says, we're going to get that clarity. We're going to get the information. Um, we definitely know. So yeah, High Priestess reversed at the bottom again of the deck. High Priestess says there's definitely information coming out. Um, tell me about the Queen of Swords reversed. What about the Queen of Swords reversed? I feel like this is just about that. Um, yeah, it's about the secret. It's about the fact that information hasn't come out about this, whatever it is. It's the uh, the moon reversed. 
it's um something that we need to uh get clarity on like the moon you know the moon and the high priestess in reverse both bring out the secrets of whatever is being withheld or whatever we don't know about tell me about the um five of wands here reverse what do we need to know five of wands in the reverse yeah look at that wow talk about being stuck in toxicity death reversed it's stuck 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 with the devil toxicity and stuck in the group of troublemakers ah uh, that's some tough energy being stuck in the group of people who just wanted to bicker and argue but this five of wands is reversed so i feel like it will be released it will be uh, this will be released but this is where we've been in all this stuck in toxicity this could just be now this doesn't have to be a group it just could be arguing with your partner over and over again and this is the thing spirit's saying look we got to stop whatever this is that keeps happening in this partnership i want to get the um yeah look stuck i can't make that up eight of swords at the bottom the devil and the death card this is all stuck 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 energy and what is it stuck in the five of wands always fighting over always arguing always drama but we're going to be releasing this because that five of wands is reversed and spirit is saying it's time for a break it's time not to do this anymore fork in the road it's time to change directions tell me about the ten of swords leo reading ten of swords what's important ten of swords yep five of swords look at that five of swords five of wands ten of swords yuck yuck and yuck look at that that is the worst betrayal this could have been more than one person that you're got involved but i definitely think this is between you and your soulmate whoever well it says soulmates so i don't know i definitely think this is between you and your person whoever this person is to you um, tell me about, we have lots of soulmates in different areas of our life. So however it works for you, but tell me about the Knight of Wands reversed. Why is Knight of Wands reversed here? Yeah. Six of Wands reversed. There is lack of success here in something you put a lot of time and effort into with the, um, seven of pentacles and right before, behind that is the lovers reverse this could be someone who's you know in and out of your life who i don't like to really say that about the knight of wands very often but when i see this cocky attitude i feel like this person can be a real jerk this person could be a scorpio um this person could be well you know who your person is i think it's so dumb that we sit here and tell you who you're dealing with but you know people like to have the um people like to have the um astrology um uh, signs you know there's aquarius is all over this scorpio is all over this pisces is all over this um so they're the ones that are coming out the strongest in in this reading um there's aquarius oh no i said that already um aquarius and pisces come out very strong in this reading so does scorpio um so does um taurus comes out in it not that it's strong but it's here um capricorn's here did i say aries leo sagittarius well obviously you're leo um but anyway you know what i'm saying gemini's here strongly too so whatever it doesn't matter you guys know who you're dealing with but somebody here um completely feels left out in the cold in this partnership they put a lot of time and effort into it and um it didn't go well for them we've got lovers reverse five of pentacles seven of pentacles here at the bottom i feel like um this is a solid bond between two people they either have a family together a home together or they are committed to each other but there's something one of the partners does that's toxic um you know this is a lot of stress on the partnership um this causes you know is either gonna cause or has caused towers ca has caused breakups has caused fighting 
toxicity, arguing, betrayal, um, secrets, lies, cockiness in and out of each other's life. I mean, this is not the best reading, guys. I'm sorry. But Spirit says time for a nap with this unfinished symphony. So this is something that continually happens. Um, and Spirit says, look, it's time to change directions, right? Listen, we have lots of soulmates. I'm going to tell you that straight up. And I don't want to hear twin flame, blah, blah, blah. Uh, that's bullshit. Um, listen, if your twin flame sucks that bad and makes you unhappy, do you really think Spirit would want you to be with them? Oh, hell no. We have lots of soulmates because... If any of them suck, we have to learn the lesson and find out what to do about it. If we can't work with them and we keep going through this crap with them, the lesson was to get the heck away from them. Okay, so if this is your reading and if you're the one that is being the victim of this person, Spirit says... Pull up your big boy girl and girl panties and get a move in. It's time to change directions. There's other soulmates out there that are, have your name on them that would love to come into your life. But you won't ever know that if you keep doing this thing with this person over and over again. Spirit says make a decision to move away from all this disappointment. Heal yourself and make a decision to go for a brand new beginning. Ace of Cups. Go for a brand new soulmate. They're out there. There's lots of them. Um, I mean, sometimes I'm up against multiple soulmates in my life and I have to pick which one I want. And they're all great because, well, I see through the BS. Um, so <laughs> you guys will get like that too as soon as you stop accepting this kind of behavior. I mean, for those of you that this is your reading, for any of you that this is your reading, this is something that keeps happening over and over and over again in a relationship with somebody who's really toxic. To be honest with you, this soulmate is not, this is like a karmic soulmate. There are soulmates too. So if they are the devil and they come out with devil and the soulmate card, that's karmic soulmate. Not to mention the fact that it comes out with the hierophant reversed. How karmic is that? That's a karmic soulmate, guys. One that does this kind of stuff to you. Five of Wands, Ten of Swords, Five of Swords. This is a lot of painful towers in your life, in and out of your life. Player, player, there's no success here. So I don't, you know, I don't want to, you know, you guys are big boys and girls. Do what you feels right. But honestly, Spirit saying, if this is your reading, time for a nap, time for a fork in the road, time to change directions from this unfinished symphony in this relationship time for brand new make a decision to go for brand new there's other choices look when you decide to choose another way you'll get out of the stress that you're in but right now you're just weighing it out and trying to figure it out and you're not really making a decision you're just staying all trapped up in your head and spirit says you have an opportunity here to make that decision and move into something brand new a new soulmate a new relationship um something very solid here um, I feel like you do have something solid with this person when they're not in and out of your life, when they're not pulling fast one on you, when they're not um, causing you pain and anguish and hurting you, which means it's really not solid, okay? It means that one of you is solid and one of you isn't. But anyway, guys, let me know about this. Please don't let this person hurt you. You deserve so much better. You really do. I mean, I'm being honest with you guys straight up. If you're allowing someone to treat you like this, run. There's, I promise you, in a couple of months, you'll be going, who? Because you'll be dating and having fun and only dating good people because you'll see those red flags right away and get out of there if you're smart, right? All right, angels. There's nothing fun, more fun than getting out there and dating and, you know, taking a break from something that's been toxic and go have fun. Yeah, absolutely. One more. Oh, we got a blank one. All right, you got, if you're willing, willingness came out. And look at this, to stand in your power once you take that freedom. When you get your freedom back, you're going to stand in your power. You're going to love this, I promise you. You really are. As soon as you get away from whatever this is, you are going to enjoy your life so much more. Anyway, guys, I hope, I hope this wasn't your reading, but if it was, please comment down below. Um, please let me know if this is you that's getting treated badly in your relationship and needs to bust a move. 
um, please like the video if you enjoyed it and that helps the channel and it helps me be able to put these readings out for you guys. Um, helps me keep this channel going. Um, so thank you so much to those of you that donate, that comment, that um, hit that like button. I do appreciate you so, so much. Please like, share, subscribe. Very much appreciated. And guys, have a great month. I am still not taking on any more personal readings till I get caught up. So I'll talk to you guys about that very soon. I'll put an announcement out. Okay, guys, have a good one. Thanks so much. Bye.